Now, if we're asked for where dy dx or the derivative is equal to a particular number, all we have to do is find the derivative and set that derivative function equal to our number. So a common one will be where is dy dx or the derivative equal to zero. And this is going to be a very important one later on. It's the turning points of our equation. And I'll show you why they're called the turning points in just a minute. But if we're asked for where is dy dx equal to a particular number, just find dy dx and set it equal to that number. Fairly straightforward. So we have our function here. Let's get dy dx. So we have y is equal to this stuff. So we have multiply by the power and subtract one away from the power is our rule. Minus 2 on 3 power of x squared minus 1 plus 0. Derivative of our constant is 0. Now this is dy dx. So we have 6x squared minus 6x. And we want to know when that is equal to 0. Well, this is just a quadratic function. So we're looking for where our quadratic is equal to 0. Well, immediately what jumps out at me is I have a common factor of 6x. So I'm going to use that. So I have 6x. And inside my bracket, I'm left with x minus 1. Therefore, I have 6x is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. So 6x is equal to 0, or x minus 1 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0, or x is equal to 1. Now, usually we'll want the coordinates of where what dy dx is equal to 0. So to find that, I have x is equal to 0 is the point where dy dx is equal to 0. If I want to know the coordinates of that on my function, that means I need to sub back into my original function. So I have y is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. Subbing in there, I have y on 2, y is uh, 2 on 0 cubed minus 3 on 0 squared plus 2. y is equal to 2. So my first point where or dy dx is equal to zero, where the slope of my curve or the slope of the tangent to the curve is going to equal zero is going to happen at uh, x is zero, y is two. Then when x is one, I sub into my original equation. I have two on one cubed minus three on one squared plus two. y ends up being equal to uh, y ends up being equal to 1. Uh, so I end up with 1, 1 as my other point where dy dx is equal to 0, where the slope of the tangent to the curve is equal to 0. Now let's have a look at this graph and see what uh, that means in practice. So this is green line is my original cubic function. And dy dx is the function that gives me the slope of this green line at different values of x. So what I'm going to do is set up my tangent here going through a point A. That's my black line going through here. And I'm going to, I found that my dy dx, the slope of this black line, should be equal to 0 when x is equal to 1 and when x is equal to 0. So what does that mean? It means when I move my point, when I move my point around, at x is equal to 1, I end up with a flat line, a horizontal line. dy dx is the slope of this line, and the slope of the line is 0 at uh, x is equal to 1. My tangent line, my black line, is horizontal, where it has a slope of 0 at x is equal to 1. And I can see now that if, uh, I have a negative slope at the moment, and then when I come around to x is equal to 0, again, I get a dead flat line. At x is equal to 0, my tangent line has a slope of 0. dy dx is the slope of the tangent to the curve. This is my tangent to the curve. Its slope is 0 when x is 0, 
or when x is 1. And again, this is a uh, this is how we will in the long run find something called a turning point. And you can perhaps see why these are called turning points now. If I turn off my uh, tangent for a second, the turning points are going to be where our function changes direction. It was going up, then it starts going down. It was going down and it starts going up. So these are going to be our turning points and we're going to find them by finding where dy dx is equal to zero. But this works in general. We could find out uh, where uh, the slope of the tangent to the curve is at lots of different points. So if we had uh, when x is minus one, the slope would be 12. So if we subbed in x is minus 1 into our dy dx formula, we would get that the uh, dy dx would be 12 at x is equal to minus 1. So dy dx equals 12 at x equals minus 1. And in terms of what we are dealing with in this question, dy dx is equal to 0 at uh, x, uh, dy dx is equal to 0 at x is equal to 0, and dy dx is equal to 0 at x is equal to 1. So that is the geometric, that is the visual meaning of when we get our dy dx equal to 0. And it's really important from an exam point of view that we be able to make that link between the algebra we're doing and the visualization of what's going on, because that link is key to most exam questions based on differentiation. So going back to our normal writing, if we have a function and we're looking for where dy dx is equal to a particular number, find dy dx and then set it equal to the number you're asked about and dy dx being equal to zero will be how we will find the turning points of our function later on. But the core thing for ourselves at the moment is if we're doing differentiation, we're opening up page 25 in our books, in our log tables, we're going to write everything in power notation uh, and we know that at our dy dx is the slope of the tangent to the curve. And we have that physical meaning in the backs of our minds when we're doing our differentiation, when we're doing our algebraic work. And that's what we need for now.